Hi, my name is Erica, and this is the first video of a series called Women and Hormones. We uh, recently had an in-person class and thought we'd summarize the information that was um, discussed in the class through a series of videos. So um, my quick story is I'm a breast cancer survivor of nine years, and um, I had, um, when I was reintroduced to Young Living, while I was going through um, treatment for breast cancer. So um, after I got through the treatments and chemotherapy and radiation and um, drug therapy, I was on drug therapy, I learned how important my hormones were when they turned them off. So um, uh, it has been a journey for me to learn how to uh, support my hormones, support my endocrine system, and rebuild my body back. And I did not know this, but previous to having breast cancer, my hormones were a mess. And I wish I would have known that there were so many ways to support your hormones and you could naturally bring balance to your body by doing so. So this is what these series of videos are going to be about. Quick thing about the endocrine system is um, that the endocrine system is, endocrine system is crucial to your overall health. And hormones are the messengers that allow our organs and cells to communicate to produce a coordinated, coordinated effect. So hormones are responsible for almost every cell, organ, and function in the body. So just a few things that they um, have uh, take a huge part in or are energy levels, heart rate, breathing rate, bowel movements, libido, body temperature, sleep, weight, mood, emotions, so many more things. So obviously if, if your hormones are out of balance, those, those things are not going to be working optimally and you're going to have some issues with them. So um, what disrupts your hormones? So many different things. But just to name a few, um, some toxins in our products oftentimes have an effect on our hormones, and those are called endocrine disruptors. I highly recommend you Google endocrine disruptors and study it for yourself. You'll be shocked at how many things we use daily in our household products, on our skin, um, makeup that has, that disrupts our hormones and those things we have control over. So when you know better, you are able to do better. Um, so obviously cutting those things out, having a few huge effect on helping your body be able to thrive and your hormones to, um, create balance, to be balanced in your body. Um, stress is possibly the number one health danger. Um, and what stress does to your endocrine system is that stress causes a rise in cortisol from the adrenals, which we do need at times. We need our cortisol levels to go up in an emergency, but you can't live in a state of emergency because cortisol will alter the neurotransmitter production, which affects your emotions. If they, um, stress will steal the production line from other hormones and shunt the production supplies to making cortisol. So basically creates imbalances in hormones such as estrogen and um, progesterone. Um, it also burns through key ingredients such as vitamin B, vitamin C, and zinc. So uh, stress can be emotional. It can also be physical. So if you're going through physically having chronic pain, um, um, some physical like health emergencies, emotional, all those things um, cause cortisol levels to increase and have detrimental effects on your overall health. Um, emotions. Um, your the emotions there's a production and release of neurotransmitters so like serotonin and dopamine are linked with endocrine hormones and an imbalance in one system can create an imbalance in the other system so um it is important to have healthy hormones or to healthy emotions inadequate sleep can um uh cause the your imbalance in your hormones. So basically there's a circadian rhythm of when hormones are released for you to be able to sleep well. Um, and melatonin is produced during the stage of deep sleep, making healthy sleep critical for balancing the endocrine system. So, and if you do not have good, thorough, deep sleep, your hormones are affected by that. And then your diet needs, it, your diet can affect it. So a low fat diet is really dangerous and can affect your hormone level. You want to have healthy, um, uh, omegas and in your diet and um, you want to have plenty of leafy green vegetables um, full of vitamin B and all sorts of things with your diet but um, do not restrict uh, fat from your diet because that is a huge cause of it as well as eating too much sugar of course 
Um, a lack of vitamin D. D is a potent, a potent modulator of the endocrine system, especially with the sex hormones. So what can we do about this? Obviously, we can address our nutrition. We can address our stress level. We can work on our emotions. There's oils and products for all of these things. But when you get to the root of what's going on with your hormones, that is when it's going to have a massive effect on your overall health. So you have to first identify and remove any barriers that are preventing the bottom from body from healing and creating balance. And once the barriers are gone, then the right support and nourishment, um, with the right support and nourishment, the body can heal. So that's what we're going to learn in the, the, the next coming videos about how to support and how to um, bring um, balance to your hormones. All right. See you in the next video.